In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to mod Star Sector. All of the relevant segments will be timestamped below. Since Star Sector does not use a digital rights manager, all content and mods must be found, downloaded, installed, and enabled manually. In order to get started, simply whip out a browser of your choice and search up Star Sector mods. Select the mod index categorized on the Fractal Softworks forum. This is the official developer website, and so you know that all of these mods have been vetted. It's important to note that this does not include every mod available for Star Sector, simply every mod that has currently been added by the forum moderators. The mod list is broken down into various categories, including things like Mega Mod, Content Expansions, and Faction Mods, most of which have a lot of overlap. Utility Mods are my favorites, and of course you've got the Miscellaneous Pile. This is kind of everything else that no one's really sure what to do with. Once you've found the mod that you know you want, and you've made sure that it is of a compatible game version to the one you have installed, if you're not sure which game version you have, simply check up in the top right corner once you've launched your game. You'll see that I'm currently on 0.95.1a-rcc. Six. Really rolls off the tongue, doesn't it? It's also important to note that some versions of the game are cross-compatible. For example, 0.95a and 0.95a1 are so similar that mods made for one are likely to work with the other. However, you will have to do your own testing to confirm. Once you've zeroed in on the mod that you want to download, simply click the link and find the download button. Each page is a little bit different, and so you might have to look around a little bit for this. Certain pages also include a spoiler tab, which if you click on it will usually show you something to do with the mod. This is a nice way to get a visual idea of what's going on without having to read the flavor text. Once you've located that elusive download button, simply click it. In this case, it's taken us to the creator's Patreon tab. And so all we need to do is click on the zip file. This is a pretty common way of distributing them. And you will see that we begin to download the .zip. Now that you have your mod folder, you are going to need to decompress it in order for the game to understand the code inside of it. In order to do this, I would recommend that you download WinRAR. However, Windows does come with a simple unzipper built in as well. In this case, I have WinRAR installed, and so I will extract to the folder unknown skies v0.43 semi parentheses 1. This has now created an identically named folder which is not compressed. We can now safely delete the former folder as we will no longer need it, as this contains our mod files. It is very important to note that the internal folder is the one that you need to place into the mod list, the external folder is simply the packaging, and so we can delete that too. We are now left with the final version that we are going to install into the game. In order to install our mod, we are going to need to place it inside the star sector root directory. On Windows, this can be easily located as it will be usually stored on your main drive, depending on where you installed it. In my case, it's under local disk C, program files 86 by, fractal softworks, star sector, and then mods. All you need to do is place this folder inside of this one and your mod is installed. Now that you've installed your mod, you're going to need to enable it under the Star Sector Launcher. Simply launch the game, click on the Mods tab, and be sure to check the checkbox next to the name. You also have Enable and Disable All tabs over here if you'd like to make large changes. Please note that a yellow warning means that the game might crash if using an updated version of a mod. A red warning means that the game probably will crash, and you should probably not run it unless you know what you're doing. Once you've made the changes you're happy with, click save, and you are ready to play Modded Star Sector. Congratulations! These are the mods that I typically play with when playing Star Sector, and if you would like to just simply copy them, I've included a Google Drive link for you to download this folder, which you can just copy and paste directly into your Star Sector mods folder as you wish. It also comes with the JSON file to enable all the mods for you, meaning that you don't even have to worry about that. Now isn't that service? And with that, congratulations, you now know how to mod Star Sector. Yay! If you would like to... If you enjoyed this tutorial... If you enjoyed this tutorial or otherwise found it helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more. Let me know down in the comments if you have any questions and what other features you'd like to see tutorials on. Until the next time, cheers.